fall into a deep, relaxing sleep with this bedtime story for grown-ups. You're listening to The Candle Shop in this autumn sleep story and guided bedtime meditation. You travel to a sleepy New England village during the peak fall foliage. You walk by a glassy pond where vibrant leaves float. You explore Main Street and visit a legendary candle shop that creates personalized candles. The sense of smell is a powerful activator of memories, and the shop owner makes a candle to conjure your most beloved memories and sensations. With your magical candle, you return to your cozy cottage on a picturesque street. You light the candle and enjoy a warm bath, floating from one soothing sensation to the next. This experience prepares you for bed. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you listen, you may think of my voice as that of your dear friend and guide. My intention is to make you feel the most relaxed and safest that you have felt all day. I am here to remind you of your innate ability to self-soothe with chosen thoughts and the unlimited potential of your imagination. You deserve this time to shut out the world and to go deep within as you settle within the sanctuary of your room and mind. You have made it through another day and this special time is your reward. At any point you desire, you can tune out my voice and cross over the bridge to your sleeping life. You may customize this experience in a way that suits you. You know what you need most. Get comfortable and softly shake away any impressions of your day. Snuggle into your bed and pillows and let out a big sigh. On this breath, you cast away all concerns and worries so you may focus on pleasure and serenity. Take in the deepest, fullest inhalation that you have taken all day. Feel your body rise as if it could float towards the night sky. Let your inhalation turn into a big, sleepy yawn. And then sigh. Let it all out. Make a sound and simply let go. Inhale deeply and open your mouth again into a yawn. And blow out your exhalation through pursed lips as if blowing through a straw. Feel how much more relaxed you are now than when this journey began. Imagine your ceiling is a blank white canvas. You watch as colored pencils move like magical wands to create an autumn leaf drawn in vibrant hues of tangerine and yellow topaz. From your bed, you trace your finger on the air around the perimeter of the points and leaf. As your finger moves, gold dust appears, left in the wake of each motion. The leaf comes to life and floats across the room towards your window. It takes flight on a night breeze, and you follow it with your mind's eye to another place and time. The orange-yellow leaf lands on a glassy pond in the heart of a New England village. Red maple, sweet gum, and oak trees create a canopy over the lake and reflect on the golden water like floral bouquets of fall. The leaves are vibrant red, deep shades of purple, and copper brown. 
Amber light pours over the picturesque setting like a honey glaze. Tiny twigs snap and dry leaves crunch beneath your comfortable shoes. They lend the percussive bass line to the orchestra of sound that surrounds you. The soft wind and rustling leaves are like jazz brush strokes on a snare drum. A man dressed in red flannel paddles a canoe in the center of the pond. The boat creates tiny lapping waves, bringing dulcet tones. You close your eyes and feel the crisp air on your face. You enjoy the contrast of the cool breeze with the warmth of the sun. Autumn brings a transition between the intensity of the heat of summer and the dark, cold winter to come. It prepares you deeply, readying you to hunker down and find safety. On this perfect fall day, you enjoy everything about the contrasting colors and sensations. You imagine embracing the transitions in life with as much grace as you embrace the lure of transitioning from summery garments into soft scarves and knit sweaters. You walk by a young puppy that dives into a pile of leaves. A young girl laughs in splendor. She throws two handfuls of leaves into the air and they fall around her in an array of jewel tones. The colors and happiness of this scene are rich and more enlivening than a gift of the finest jewelry piece. Scenes like this reveal opulence in nature. Her parents look on from a park bench, sipping hot cider from to-go cups. The sweet cinnamon spiced apple fragrance travels on a cloud of hot steam and mingles with the smell of decaying leaves and wet earth. You walk on the leaves and consider all the cliches and habits of fall. You realize they exist for a reason. Pumpkins, apples, and fallen leaves have the power to elicit joy from the most cynical mind because they appeal to much deeper senses. They are a message of what is to come. They are nature's permission slips to get as cozy and relaxed as you possibly can. And in the modern world, this permission is greatly appreciated. The puppy comes running towards you with her bushy tail wagging like the propeller of a helicopter. You reach down to greet the young pup and run your hands through her downy fur. Your fingers weave through her cotton ball fluff and you remove a crisp papery maple leaf from her tail. Again, you note these contrasting sensations as you rise with the papery leaf in your hand and feel it crumble into dust. It is a reminder that everything is temporary and changes in time. There is no need or even capability to tether or hold on to things. You may find deep serenity with surrender floating through each moment with the grace of a falling leaf, letting go of a tree branch. The pup runs off and you wish the family a wonderful night. These brief interactions with unknown souls create a gentle stir inside of you. You feel the warm tingling sensation of making new connections with people as you pass through this moment which is unlike any other moment before. You walk on a mosaic carpet of wet leaves 
artfully pieced together by the windy wand of Mother Nature. You pay attention to the unique layout of vibrant pink, orange gold, amethyst garnet, and sunshine yellow leaves. The path leads you to a cobblestone street that still glistens from an early morning rain shower and leads you into the heart of Sugar Hollow. Sugar Hollow has been on the maps for nearly a century as a quaint place to escape to for peak fall foliage and autumn pleasures. Tucked at the end of Main Street, visitors flock to the Sugar Hollow candle shop the shop is known to offer serenity and peace in its unique candles. Molly, the shop owner, is the sixth generation candle maker and healer. Her family long believed in the simplicity of healing and soothing with memory conjuring smells. While science would prove that smells bypass the thalamus and venture straight into the olfactory hub of the brain. Molly's grandmother encouraged her to focus on the artistic craft of candle making. She encouraged Molly to embrace family traits of empathy and pure instinct. Her ability to listen intently to all those who came to the shop for customized fragrances and her sixth sense made her candle so special. You walk past the cozy hollow cafe where people huddle inside and sip decadent hot beverages with dollops of whipped cream. They dress in knit sweaters and flannel jackets and the scene through the store window is worthy enough to be on a postcard. You inhale the smell of wood smoke that travels through the silver chimneys atop the row houses of Main Street. The smoky aroma blends with the smell of baked goods and pastries that wafts out of the cafe. The rose gold sun begins to dip beyond the mountains that surround the village in a protective embrace. The vibrant fall leaves dapple purple mountain peaks and sparkle in the last rays of sunlight. The daylight hours have begun to shorten and it makes you feel sleepier earlier each night as darkness creeps in. You arrive at the Sugar Hollow Candle Shop and peer into the bow windows of the storefront. The interior of the shop makes you feel as if you have traveled back in time. A candelabra hangs in the center of the window, and an array of long tapered candles represent the best of all colors. Slender flames flicker and reflect on the glass. Pumpkins and lush arrangements of dried eucalyptus Sunflowers and burgundy mums sit in the storefront window. You walk towards the historic entryway of the brick building. The door is a soothing shade of lavender. You press your thumb on the cool latch of an antique brass door handle, and the door softly squeaks open. You welcome the rush of warm air, fragrance sweetly, by the smells of diverse candles coming together in a soothing elixir. Soft piano music plays in the background. Molly stands behind an antique register and reads a book about crystals. The cash register sits on a glass display case full of gemstones and dried flowers and herbs. Rose quartz, citrine, turquoise, Amethyst and tiger's eye rest on lush black velvet lining on the shelves. Behind the display is a large open area where Molly makes the candles. Shelves run from the high ceiling to the floor, 
stocked with small tinctures and scents in glass bottles, labeled in a delicate handwritten scroll. The store is like an apothecary and candle shop in one. Molly looks at you with hazel eyes that sparkle with flecks of yellow topaz. She wears a long chiffon dress with a paisley pattern in shades of brown, purple, burgundy, and gold. Molly welcomes you and invites you to look around the store. Next to the cash register, you notice a jar candle burning, and it has a gemstone in the bottom of layers of rainbow-hued wax. The handmade label reads, Molly's Healing Candle in Calligraphy. You mention you have come to the store with the hopes of having a custom candle made. Molly's face lights up. She warmly smiles at you as if you have made her day. She invites you to explore the fragrances to get a sense of what you would like to experience and what you enjoy. Some candles smell like seascapes and forests. Some are richly fragranced with fruit and the aroma of creme brulee and baked desserts. As you smell your way through the store, memories awaken. A candle smells like your favorite dessert and conjures a holiday memory. Celebrations and landscapes, trips and monumental moments are aroused by the simple act of bringing one of the candles to your nose, closing your eyes, and taking in a deep breath. As your thoughts skate across memory ponds with the grace of an Olympian figure skater, you feel warmed by love and appreciation. Being in this shop has sent you deep into a pool of reflection you dive into the sacred memories of your life that have been long forgotten. You relish the first moments that come together, the memories of you prevailing, of trying something new and feeling whole and alive as you explore the diverse array of candles with rich colors and even richer aromas. You find you are speaking freely as if Molly is your longest friend. She nods and smiles and takes notes on a piece of stationery. She barely speaks and lets you continue, although I'll getting a sense of what will make you happiest. Like a curious child, you grasp your hands around two long tapered candles that hang in clusters of other candles in berry hues. Cool, smooth mulberry wax rests in the palms of your hands, and this tactile sensation instantly soothes you. A shared wick holds the candle pairs together and allows them to hang. They hang still, like barren branches of trees in winter. When you have told Molly about the things you most enjoy and memories you hold dear, she pauses and quietly takes it all in. She then asks what it is you most want for yourself now and in the future. You answer her and she leads you to the display of gemstones and crystals and tells you about the powers and symbolism of each one. The rose quartz is for love, self-love, and a love for others. The purple amethyst has a high vibration and assists with making wise decisions and awakens your higher consciousness. Clear quartz may help with manifestation and setting your intention. Moonstone evokes dreams. Citrine brings abundance and prosperity and black obsidian helps with protection and positivity. Your thoughts drift away. Do you focus on how these ideas and crystals make you feel? You find the one that feels right 
and you silence your critical mind. You imagine what it would be like if it were so easy to place an order for what you desire. You realize it is easier to place this order now that you have been given the special time in the shop to ask yourself these questions about what sparks joy and what you long for. With Molly's guidance, you select a crystal. She places it in the bottom of a large glass jar and goes to a cast iron pot full of melting candle wax. Her moves are graceful and seem choreographed to the melodic notes of the piano music that plays on. She melts different colors of wax and layers them with dried flowers and herbs. She grabs different tinctures and oils and crafts a candle before your eyes. You are caught up in her process, and your mind sails to different thoughts and feelings, completely unaware of how much time has passed. It is now dark outside the windows, and the glow in the shop feels all the cozier. Shadows dance on the walls from the flickering candles. Molly finishes your healing masterpiece. She has artfully layered wax in your most favorite colors like thin cookie wafers and icing. She writes your name and the words healing candle on the label and her elegant penmanship. She rings you up on the old cash register that was used by her great-great-grandmother. Her slender fingers enter the total. You pass over a few weathered bills, and this exchange of cash also evokes memories of an earlier time. Molly opens the register, and a bell dings when she closes it. She wraps the candle in tissue paper and places it in a brown paper bag with a store's name on the front. She takes a pack of matches and drops them into the bag as well. She then takes a business card and places it in the bag and encourages you to return the candle if you aren't satisfied in any way. You look into her kind eyes and deeply feel within your belly that you will have the most wonderful experience with her creation. It's a deep yet simple knowing. Molly walks with you towards the exit and closes the door behind you as she says goodnight. She flips over the open sign to now read closed. The street is quiet and a soft fog has moved in. The air has a bit of a nip and makes you long for the return to your cozy cottage. Leaves blow down the street and rustle. You walk down a narrow lane that leads to historic cottages painted in pastel hues. You walk by a stone cottage covered in ivy. The vines are peppered with colorful leaves that have been caught in their waxy green webs. You arrive at your cottage, which is designed exactly to your preferences. You walk up the leaf-covered steps and onto a porch that wraps around the front of the cozy home and is decorated with pumpkins and gourds. A silver gray fog wraps around your property. A small stream runs behind your house and you can hear it babbling. You open the front door of your cottage and your beloved cat comes running. He rubs up against your legs, purring and welcoming you home. You take the candle and walk up the stairs to the second floor of your cottage. Your hand runs across the smooth mahogany banister to the landing. Your cat follows behind and his paws patter up the wooden steps. You come to the landing and walk to the bathroom. A 
The clawfoot bathtub is placed in a nook surrounded by multi-paned picture windows in black frames. You look out into the babbling ebony stream that runs along the perimeter of your backyard. Fiery orange and deep red leaves float on the rippling water. Again, you see the contrast. You draw a bath and watch the water rush out of the antique faucet. Your cat nestles on a plush bath mat. You take out the candle and set it on a wicker side table by the tub. You remove the glass lid and place it on the table as well. You then take the box of wooden matches from the paper bag and strike one to light the wick. You discover the business card and pick it up to read the shiny gold lettering. It says, there are two ways of spreading light, to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. The words of Edith Warden. The candlelight reflects on the water of the tub as it fills. You turn down the pressure of the water, so it slowly trickles into the bath water with a soothing sound. You remove your clothes and step into the steamy bath. The wind whispers around the house, and an occasional leaf is caught up in a gust and graces the windows with a soft brush. You relish the cozy nook of your bathroom, and gratitude warms you on the inside, while the water comforts you on the outside. Your toe rests on the faucet, and you close your eyes. The smells of the candle begin to fill the air, and you are led on a journey through time. You float in the water and relive the moments of summer. You travel to memories deep within going back years past when you were an imaginative child. Long before you were ever molded by expectations and you were free to explore and learn and experience the world for the first time. The next fragrant note reminds you of love. A love for animals or people. A romantic love or a love for family and friends. A love for those who have taught you. The comforting smell takes you deep into these places of hope and joy. You have had many in your life. The clouds of worry may have gotten in the way at times, but they float away now to reconnect with happiness, with joyous moments playing out and soothing you. You are brought to sensations of pleasure, feeling satiated and warm, feeling safe, feeling connected with all you desire. The candles, just as these memories, remind you of what you desire more of. They activate parts of your mind as you float in the deep bathtub and go deep inside of yourself. Like a waking dream, you are surrounded by memory bubbles activated by each new smell. Your favorite smells waft through the room. You are relaxed from head to toe. Your muscles become as soft as the melting candle wax. Free of expectations. Free from the weight of the world. Free from worry. Free from the need to control. You surrender. You connect with the idea of transition, flowing from one pleasant feeling to the next as you ride on the fragrance of this healing candle. 
your attention slowly comes back to the intimate setting of your candlelit bathroom. You look at the amber flame and it reminds you of the light within you. It continues to burn with each breath and beat of your heart. Even when you ignore it, it remains faithful and strong. It gives you more than life. It gives you purpose. You pull the drain out of the tub and listen to the gurgle as the water empties. Your cat stands in the doorway, imploring you to come to bed with a soft gaze. You slowly rise out of the bathtub and step on the doormat. It remains warm from the body heat of your cat. You wrap yourself in a plush towel and dry off. The candle aroma is now soporific, with notes of lavender and chamomile. The aromas have beautifully blended like the players in an orchestra, enhancing the experience with a multitude of layers. You remove your pajamas from a hanger placed on a brass door hook. You slip into the soft, freshly laundered bedclothes and feel ready for sleep. You pick up the candle and follow your cat to the bedroom, guided by candlelight. The flame flickers. Shadows dance on the wood floors of the hallway. You walk into your bedroom and step on a plush area rug. It cushions each step as you walk towards your bed. You set the candle on the bedstand, and your cat leaps onto the bottom of the mattress. You peel back the cotton duvet and climb beneath the crisp, cool sheets. You lean over and blow out the candle. As a thin line of smoke trails towards the ceiling in a squiggling line, you give thanks for this magical day, and you hold hope for all the beautiful dreams to come. You sink your tired head and neck into the plush pillows, and your cat nestles alongside you. His soft, Hers soothe the both of you. You close your eyes and drift on the soothing feeling brought on by this day. And I am going to count you down to a place of healing and restorative sleep. To a place where you may be restored and find stillness and peace that comes on a crisp autumn night that is perfect for sleep. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, finding rest, finding respite, finding solace, finding sleep. It's time to dream away. Good night. <laughs>